wait. Strictly for uh, promotional purposes because I put out some songs and I want you to go listen to them, but at the same time, you don't have to. Holy Spirit just jumped on me, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm blessed. I'm trying to... But, um... I've been missing YouTube. I ain't been on YouTube in a minute, dude. I've been tired, bro. I'm tired, bro. I'm 35 now. It's like, bro. 35 is like, bro. Like, it made me miss 25. And 25 is like, yeah. Like, bro, that wasn't a good yeah. It was like, like, I'm about this shit, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's a person. But, uh, you know, over the years, I'm sure, um, especially in my 30s, I was like, I'm not as smart as I think I am, you know, just always had that arrogance, like, oh, I'm so smart, people don't notice my intelligence, so boo-hoo to them, but it wasn't my intelligence as much as it was my work ethic, it was like, I work extremely hard, and I don't like to intimidate people, it's offensive to me, when someone gets offended down working, like, I'm like, oh, damn, I wasn't trying to, you know, and then it's just like, Sometimes people don't want to let go at that. And it's just, then it gets kind of expensive. Like, fuck it, didn't it? Yeah, like, so I don't feel like, I don't want to feel like that. So it's just like, my therapist says I'm passive aggressive because of that. Because it's just like, it's always, my, my decisions in those uh, circumstances always, like, seem like it's going to a path of violence. So I just kind of, like, track myself in situation. But, you know, I've always had people supporting me and love me. And I appreciate that. But, you know, I'm going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Apologize for not being perfect. Drugs are fucking awesome, and I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry they're that way, because if there wasn't, like, I've even had great sex in my life, and, and, and yeah. But, but, you know, at the same time, and I think it's part of it. Um, being a human sucks, but at the same time, I'm amazing. Like, you know, so it's just like, fuck it. Because yeah, every morning I wake up, I feel amazing. I did not break my fucking chopstick, bitch. Bro. <laughs> um, damn it. Oh my god, I love this shit. Damn, damn, damn. Tis the day. Devs does not have the chopstick. I hope I put some enough on. It's still, yeah, it still looks smooth. But yeah, so I wasn't really working. But I was always putting in work, you know what I'm talking about? So I appreciate everybody who rock with me until now. But it ain't just me, it's God. I do it for God, I do everything for God, man. I wake up in the morning for God. I'm doing this right now for God, you know what I'm saying? I got chores today, you know what I'm talking about? 
come from a royal family. How can I say this? The brokest smell folks have to do all the chores. So I gotta get the chores today. I got chores today, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We still live in lavish, we're still doing it. You know what I'm talking about? We poor rich. <laughs> no, we love it, you know what I'm saying? No, we we, we the American standard and we we agree with it. You know what I'm talking about? Hate on this. <laughs> okay. That's right, no, motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? That's, come, that's a lot of passive aggressiveness mixing in with the mental state. And I'm fighting it. You know, my immune system is fighting that shit off, bro. It's not an illness because I'm fighting it, bro. Like, yeah. It comes to illness when you let it take over your immune system. My immune system is strong. It's fighting, bro. I love my haters, though. we best friends, bro. At the end of the day, my nigga, I be hating on you, too. Cause I, I wanna hate like that. I wish I could hate five motherfuckers better than me so I could hate on this motherfucker. Ah, God forgive me, Chris. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is my first professional. Uh, when I was younger, I strived to be a superstar because I was like, you know, I want to be a superhero. But I think the superstar was the next best thing. Because superheroes, like I was watching them, it was like they were all in cartoons, so I couldn't get the actual alley. Then once like the movies came out, I saw like buildings and the guy who got hit, hit the building. I was like, I don't know if I can get health insurance for that. But I don't even use health insurance, I don't even care. You know, being a Native American, just kind of living off the land, surviving. You know, and I just, I love to suffer my own pain. I love to suffer my consequences. And I love to be blessed. I love mercy. I love everything. I love everything about the universe. Just go through it experiences as I go. But I don't judge people how they go through their experiences. Keep going. Keep the universe flowing. Oh, Jesus. I messed up for a long time. Huh? Who's looking at your ass? Who's the stupid sign? Um. So I just did Trust me now, I'm so, bro, that means more than the degree I just got. It really does, because there was a time, I'm not even just trust me, I messed it up. Cause I was lazy, damn it, I'll admit it, I was lazy, I fucked it up. Oh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. But, uh through a lot of years and patience and, and just kind of molding myself, I earned that respect back. I just, you know, I'm done. It feels good, you know. So, uh, one of the things I learned from therapy is to acknowledge the good feelings. To acknowledge them. Just treat them like they're mundane. That's a part of yourself, Because right? I know me. You know, when I was coming up, our our uh, mantras was like, well, for what we were taught, it wasn't positive. I'm not even gonna bring that up because we're so past that now. But you know, so it was like, damn, you know, through learning how to be obedient and conforming to God's industrialized will, you know, I'm learning, bro. It's better to have a good reputation. Man. It's better to have a great name. Someone who could be like, hey, I'll give you $92 trillion only because I trust you. Like, like what? $92 trillion? What about a quadrillion? They go, hey, I trust you so much, I'll give you $92 quadrillion. Here you go. You know? I wouldn't want it because at the end of the day, that, I think that pressure would make you complode. Just, that's just too much pressure. <laughs> At that point, you'd be walking down the street, people would stick their dogs and like, you know, just get your ass off. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, how rich am I? I have one more chore and then I'm gonna. Uh, 
Bro, I didn't record that. Fuck. Fuckers. Yeah, I did. And, um, always strive to be excellent. You know, I think that's everything. Bro, hold up. I just feel. My nigga, if you ever wonder how I got strong or athletic right there, that's one of the spots. That's one of the, that's one of the dojos. As far as the music goes, bro, I'm just really trying to take it to the next level, bro. I'm trying to get to a level where, like, I revolutionize it just by being myself. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to be yourself, but at the same time, it's just the fuck I am. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like, I look at myself now, I'm like, damn, bro, I'm aging, bro. I'm not the same person I was. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't all that when I was young, but at the same time, I was, you know, I look good enough to get the finest bitch you know. It, it wasn't like, like, like some, some niggas I seen. I'm like, damn, I wish I could have got the bitch like that. But I'm like, I'm still in this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I got some super stuff out. <laughs> I ain't getting like that, dude. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Uh, pussy ain't all that. You know, dick ain't all that. All that, all that sex ain't all that. You know what I'm talking about? It's all about, you know, sitting down. A local, local coffee shop or something, having an amazing conversation, enjoying that moment, and that moment lasts in a lifetime. That right there, bro. That, that just experience, bro. That that right there is powerful, bro. Right? Driving in dog. I don't know if this is dangerous, but I'm a dog. Yeah. So I'm almost to my bro's house. Pick up this trash can. Culturized system. It's all about respect, you know. And uh, you know, kind of reading the documents of our ancestors. I stay right next to like a a party city, and uh, some kind of way, our ancestors were over there partying with me. And uh, it was like a royal. It was like a royal festival. It's crazy. It's fun though. It's crazy. So like it's kind of mega packed with royal blood, but at the same time, it constitutes to my ability to not care because I'm like you're probably not even on my level to even prestige with my 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 essence, let alone my expressions to know thereof to be judged. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> really, homeboy. But at the same time, knowing that every man has the right to be in an, a, a, a sense of brotherhood with his fellow man. So he's able to say what he wants to him or feel how he wants to feel about him. These are the natural laws. I'm guessing. But yeah, then a um, club promoter called me. Kind of motivated me to, to do like a show. But I was thinking, I don't know. I might do it, I might not. Depends on how my funds are. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's fun to go out there and support the fans and stuff. That's all you're doing, really. I appreciate them, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, it's like, if you don't have the funding, or you're like, the funding is not in a situation where you want to enjoy it, you know, which is why I always promote, my fans are very open to go to my cash app, Brandon Jones Funding, and donate, and then, you know, I'll feel more comfortable, stable, to where I'm like, I can go do a lot of shows, because I got so much money, you know what I'm saying, but if you, like, if I gotta work for somebody, you might want to break a nigga back type shit. You know what I'm talking about? You ever work? You're like, you think, oh, man, he got all that money. No, I nigga work for that money. It's a difference. It's a difference. It's a difference. It's a difference. I'm driving on the street, and I find some money on the road, and I pick that shit up, and I'm running. And 10 years later, I'm like, damn, bro, so they I found that money on the road versus I had to go work for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brandon Jones funding. 
at Cash App. Uh, you know what's cool about me vlogging this is it's because um, I can compound that dude. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. 